Welcome to this session on foraging and wild edibles. My idea is to get people out there eating what's available, so using the resources that we have forgotten. The objectives is to get a bit of permaculture thinking in there, that the problem is the solution. Eating your weeds instead of just being annoyed by them. Having your group of participants out there with you in the field, letting them taste stuff. And also, I really enjoy using nature as a classroom. So, today, what I'm gonna do with you guys is plants that many people already can recognize. They have some kind of relation to it. And then we just start to eat it. Mm. Uh, courgette moment. My aim is always to get my students out in the field and allow them to both see, smell, taste, pick, see where the things that we're talking about are actually to be found. And a favorite one to start with, especially with kids, is the stinging nettle. What stings you from the nettle can only be found on the stem and on the like underside of, of the leaves. So you can pick it like this. You need to be a bit aware of how these little hairs are actually um, aimed. So a stinging nettle can always be touched like this and you don't burn. So it's easy to pick it once you know the trick. One of my favorite plants, the original European spinach, which is are like spinach in the springtime and during the summertime. And then as it goes into, into flowering, it's going to produce little seeds and this is the same family as the quinoa so the fancy quinoa which you can buy for rather expensive prices at least in sweden of course we have the dandelion which is the plant that's been traveling the world together with us for years now there's so much green nature out there in the cities which we're just not aware of and that we can harvest even if we don't have any land, we can always eat the wild stuff. 